Rowan Zorilla is a really good skateboarder with an equally good name. Here he is doing one of the most visceral, animalistic skateboarding tricks available, the backside board slide. Imagine that, turning your board sideways and still traveling at the same amount of speed. The future is now. Smartphones ain't shit. Shep Dogs Volume 4, housing such names as Stephen Lawyer and Riley Hawk was the first video I saw Rowan in and it instantaneously became one of my favorite parts ever. Highly recommended viewing. Rowan has one of the best flows and styles on a board ever and at that, one of the most unique styles ever. I can't think of one skater who really looks like Rowan when he skates, but I can think of a lot of imposters since. As far as the audience experience is concerned, Rowan's style is almost a precursor to someone like T-Funk, though they belong to the same generation. And T-Funk stands alone in many ways of his own as well. Both incredible skateboarders. Let's give a quick shout out to Christina Applegate. The trick we're breaking down today is his ender from Chef Dogs 4. I guess I'm in the business of posting enders. Fuck it. Well, he does a very sick barley grind on a hubba after it too, so I'm claiming exemption. This rail has since been aggressively molested by Jamie Foy and nose grinded by Cole Wilson. I can't remember exactly what Foy did. We're so spoilt for footage nowadays, but I'm pretty sure it was 50, body varial 50, front crook, front feeble, and front crook to front feeble. Those last three are pretty safe bets either way. But today we're covering Rowan's board slide because it's pure, it's a fundamental, and if you don't like it, you can move out the minute you turn 18. I haven't fucked your mum in months! Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. What are you doing? Huh? What the fuck are you doing? Nothing. I'm reading about, uh... You're making this weird. I mean this! You don't even have a fucking clue what you're talking about! You know what it's like to be married with children? Do you have any fucking idea?! So, Rowan rolls up, gets centered on his board, Eyes off the rail like it's a Mexican standoff, hides behind a tree real quick, and then, ensuring his body is traveling toward the end of the rail, snaps a good healthy ollie to make sure he gets on the rail comfortably. Notice where his vision is focused on. A backside board slide is much more a trick about feel than it is watching what's going on beneath you, but perhaps that's obvious. On this straight angle, Pay attention to Rowan in relation to the end of the rail. Bark, bark, bark. It may seem obvious, but it's important to keep the goal in mind. There's no point getting on a rail perfectly at the start if by halfway you're falling over to the other side and you're barking at strangers. Eyes on the prize. Or eyes on that wall dodge. I really like that wall dodge. There's not a lot to a great board slide, but aside from what we've seen and where you're looking, the key details of Rowan's performance here are in the well-suppressed teetering of his board from left to right, slightly over the center of the rail, and his arms and shoulders controlling that motion successfully. With this spot, Rowan has to decide mid-trick if he's going to the left or right of that brick wall. So try to acknowledge how he fights that with the leveling of his board wanting to be gradually heavier toward his left foot and how his shoulders should allow that. These are the mechanics for controlling a board slide on a rail like this. Having said that, in no way do I suggest I would comfortably board slide this rail or at all and it cannot be understated or stated enough just how well Rowan manhandles the many kinks in this rail. This is great skateboarding. And don't ask me, Ask the tripod that just got power slid into to close out a part. You tell me a better way to cinematically hammer home the notion that it was a shockingly good skater that the audience just laid eyes on. I haven't mentioned how good this dude is at Switch, but oh man, I prefer his Switch game to P-Rods. If that gives you any idea, just watch the part. Notice also for those newer to board slides, he's landing on his heels more so. Not too far back, but you do not want to be toey during a backside board slide. Some less worn in eyes might see this clip and think it's just a board slide or that he landed it sketchy because he power slid out or something. But 
To those people, I say, stop blending up Instagram pictures of Nigra and injecting them directly into your bloodstream and realize that this is where the heart of skateboarding lies. Battling with the terrain, even in simple atoms of friction, and also trick selection. Board slides are a timeless classic. Like a great ollie or 50-50, it might not be the thing that impresses you, but few other things can get you as hyped to literally skate or die, to go fast and savor a slam in pursuit of a make, or simply a feeling. There's a reason that big rail skaters or big gap skaters continue to put their body on the line. And it's not for Red Bull checks, it's that feeling. We all have felt a version of it. That feeling possesses us. Skateboarding makes us do crazy things. Crazy, life-affirming things. Rowan Zarilla rules. Peace. I'm Reese.